This is the drive motor from the electric tractor conversion. It has been in use for a little over a year. It has started making a grinding noise. The bearings have worn out, probably due to an over-tightened drive belt. So I'm going to show how to replace the bearings. First, let me show you how to tell there's a problem. The shaft should not have any play those directions or make those noises. Here I have a new set of replacement bearings. So let's get right into the teardown. First, remove the three bolts holding the motor together. Next, separate the top cover from the motor. The shaft and motor body will all tend to come out together. That's it for teardown, time for replacing the bearings. First, the cover will have to come off this end. Next, we need to drive out the old bearing. I use a socket, but there are bearing tools that are better. Now to put the new bearing in, I use a larger socket. Tap gently and evenly to avoid damage to the bearing or the motor. That's one bearing done, time for the other. Do not drive this bearing in all the way. It will be pushed into place as the motor is assembled. And that takes care of the second bearing. Now we put everything back together. Be sure to find a clean workspace, like, you know, your living room floor. Be sure to tighten your bolts evenly so that it pushes that bearing nicely into place. Note that the bearing does not seat all the way against the housing. That keeps the shaft assembly from having any play. I verified this on a new motor I had in storage. I have 3D printed a simple cap to replace the tape the factory used. It just adheres with super glue. I will post it on Thingiverse and include a link in the description. If you don't have a 3D printer, a good tape will work. Now let's test it out. Now everything is connected for testing. I will make another video to explain the wiring in detail. Full throttle. Back and down. Up the full. I don't hear any weird noises, so it seems that the bearings worked. Thanks for watching.